Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Project. What I want to cover in this module is how to embed and link data into a task. For example, an Excel spreadsheet, how to embed it and then how to link it. And also how to insert a spreadsheet or a Word document into a task that you can then use to collate data, collate information and things like that. So on the screen, I've got software implementation, which I've used many times before, and I want to embed and link an Excel file into this task. So first of all, double click on it. And normally it comes onto the general tab, but obviously I've just been into this. So to do this, you need to go into the notes tab. And what you need to do is put a little title because when you embed something, it doesn't show anything in the information column other than an apostrophe and a little note symbol, which doesn't actually tell you what it is. I'll show you what I mean in a second. So if I just give it a title, call it specification, that'll be the title. And then you basically click on this icon at the end, insert object, which gives you the option to create a new, which I'll do in a minute, and create from file, which then you have to browse for. So I'm gonna browse for this file, it's an Excel file, called charting, that's the one I want. I insert that. Then I've got two tick boxes. I do want to do a link, which means basically I'll have a shortcut to that file in this task. The actual file itself will not sit in the task. And when I click that shortcut, it will actually open charting and I am editing the original. I also want to display as an icon. The reason for that is you don't have to do that, but if you've got more than one file uh, embedded into this task you would have to scroll to the bottom of charting to find the next one where is if there are icons it's like shortcuts on your desktop so if I click OK to that it should drop the file in and there you can see it now if I double click on that it opens charting the file in Excel and that is the original this is the file charting if I make that full screen you can see the whole file now if I just close that for a second don't want to save that and then click OK to this you get a little symbol and there you go specification and you can see there underneath specification the title the apostrophe that I was talking about that's all you would see if you didn't give it a title so my advice is always to give it a title or put some notes in there so you can refer to that uh, what that uh, embedded item is now, if I do another one in test software, if I just double click on that one, this time I'll call it budget. Now, all I want this time is a blank spreadsheet. So create from new, and then you've got a series of options here. I don't want that one. So I'll come down, Excel worksheets, that's quite an old thing now. And again, I'm going to display that as an icon, and then click OK to that. And it should drop in a blank file for me now it's opened it on a different window so I'll just bring that across so there it is and what I'm going to do on here is just put a few things um, item price so I like to do this if I put today's date in there and just pull that down so you've got three items I'll say hotel I like to do this rather than using the cost resource because when you complete a task, if you've used a cost resource, it doesn't actually spend that money. So it sits there as a money remaining in the budget. Whereas if you just put whatever the total of this is into a fixed cost in the resource, that does get spent when the resource is complete. So let's just put some prices in here. So let's say 125 for the hotel. £50 for the fuel and £20 for food. Alt equals is a key command to add up. Press enter on that. Format that to pounds. And then this is a worksheet inside software implementation, the, the, this file, which is called software, software implementation. If I close this down, I don't have to save this because it's saved within this. If I click OK, there you get your little icon and your little apostrophe again. If I double click back in there and open up the worksheet, 
you should be able to see the the information as it was and I didn't save anything I'll just bring the file back across because it's opened in a different window and then you can add to this and change this and the say and the changes will be saved so that 195 for this task is what I would put in the fixed cost column and I'll show you what I mean by that and if that kept changing I would just manually update that but that's just the way I like to do it click OK so if I change this table so I'll go view tables to um, cost so there is where I would put the 195 there's a fixed cost of 195 and you can see there so I've had a baseline here so there's quite a lot of variance off the baseline but if I if I spend that or if I do 100% complete that will see that's the total cost that's what's remaining nothing's been spent but if I put that to 100% complete, if I go 100%, nothing remaining. Now, if I add a cost, if I go back into the resource sheet, uh, I've got a hotel cost there, look. So you don't actually put a cost in the resource sheet. You just add it when you're allocating the task. So if I go into that one, resources, assign resources, and add the hotel a sign and then you put the price in there so I'll put 150 you see it still says 150 remaining even though this task is a hundred percent complete which is really irritating because you wouldn't really want to see any figures in this remaining column because it isn't it's been used this task is finished it's spent so that's why I do that and then it gets spent just a quick look at how that works I'll just take that one off get rid of this and put this back to the entry view so view tables entry and we're back as we were I'll put that back as not complete so it's like everything else so that's just a quick look at how you can embed and link or just have a file in your tasks so pdfs drawings things that are static you know contract documents and stuff like that i often say to people scan it in and put it in there and just have it there for further future reference and then you can use it i used to um, have a training company providing um, nvq sessions and all the sessions were embedded into each task so basically here you would have session one session two session session three and things like that and all the assessments and all the um, tutor notes would be embedded in the task so any tutor could come along uh, there's a project plan for this particular project which was um, moving from point a to point b in terms of knowledge learning and all the steps had all the information in including all the resources so it worked quite well but that's um embedding and linking hopefully you enjoyed that and uh, thank you for your time